Once upon a time, in a small village nestled among rolling hills, lived a young man named Koji. Koji was a bright and ambitious soul, but he carried a heavy burden, a paralyzing fear of public speaking. Every time he faced an audience, his heart raced, his palms grew clammy, and his words stumbled like a fumbling novice. The villagers knew of his predicament and whispered behind his back, adding to Koji's self-doubt. One day, news of a wise old sage named Master Ryu reached Koji's ears. Master Ryu was known for his remarkable ability to make even the most timid person speak with confidence. With a glimmer of hope, Koji embarked on a journey to find the sage. After a long and arduous journey, Koji finally reached Master Ryu's tranquil dwelling, perched atop a mountain. The sage welcomed Koji warmly, sensing the purpose of his visit. Koji poured out his fears and frustrations, sharing his lifelong struggle with public speaking. Master Ryu listened intently, his eyes twinkling with understanding. He beckoned Koji to join him on the porch overlooking a serene valley. Do you see the whispering breeze rustling the leaves? Master Ryu asked. Koji nodded, puzzled. The key to confident public speaking lies in the dance of that breeze, Master Ryu explained. Observe closely. The breeze doesn't resist the trees, nor does it try to overpower them. It flows gently, with purpose, carrying its message without fear. Likewise, your words are the breeze, and your audience, the trees. Koji pondered these words as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm glow over the valley. Master Ryu continued, fear stems from the belief that the trees judge the breeze. But remember, the trees are more interested in the message than the source. Your words are valuable, and your audience yearns to hear them. With each passing day, Master Ryu guided Koji through a series of exercises. They practiced speaking in front of serene landscapes, gradually progressing to small groups of villagers, and eventually, larger audiences. Koji felt a newfound sense of liberation, his fear fading like mist under the morning sun. One day, a village celebration was announced. Koji's heart raced at the thought of addressing the entire village, but Master Ryu's words echoed in his mind. You are the breeze, and your words are valuable. As Koji took the stage, he imagined himself as the whispering breeze. He felt a connection to every villager, just as the breeze touched every leaf. His words flowed naturally, carrying his genuine thoughts and stories. The villagers listened intently, captivated by Koji's newfound confidence and authenticity. When Koji finished speaking, the villagers erupted in applause. Koji realized that he had not only overcome his fear but had also discovered the essence of confident public speaking. The secret lay in embracing the role of the breeze, letting go of the need for approval and focusing on sharing his message with sincerity. From that day forward, Koji became a respected speaker in the village, sharing his wisdom and stories with eloquence and ease. His journey from trembling nerves to confident eloquence had transformed him, and his story spread far and wide, inspiring countless others to conquer their fears and find their own whispering breeze within. And so, the tale of Koji and the whispering breeze became a timeless reminder that true confidence in public speaking flows from within, like a gentle breeze weaving its way through the leaves, carrying a message that only you can deliver.